Let's have a look on how you can add a custom action without sequence and how do they work. These custom actions can be triggered using a published control event and these events can be added from the dialogs page. To show you how you can use these actions, let's navigate to the dialogs page. In here, I want to modify the folder dialog, for example. Now, let's add a new push button and set a text to it. Next, navigate to the custom actions page and search for display message box. Click the add without sequence button. As you can see, this is not visible inside the installation sequence tree. To edit this custom action, click on the existing custom actions tab at the top. I just want this dialog to show a simple text with an OK button and that's pretty much it. Now that the custom action is created, let's navigate back to the dialogs page. In here, select the previously done push button and under published events, click on new. This is where we tell the UI to run that custom action. Under arguments, select the custom action that we previously done and click OK. Now, if we run the installer and reach the folder dialogs page, once we click the button, our custom action will be triggered.